everybody out today is December 24th, Christmas Eve. We have some sun out, still a little breezy. We're still feeling the effects of that winter storm that just passed through. Uh, out here in the Americana Coop, they're doing pretty good. They still got plenty of food. Their water didn't freeze as bad, which is always good. So I am going to give them a quick uh, fill up and we'll go check on the buffs. Well, the buffs are good minus their water. Looks like their water froze, kind of tipped. So I did uh, clean out their other water. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that up with some warm water. <laughs> That's much better. It was nice cleaning that out too really well because there was some algae buildup still from this past season. So good and clean now. Should can stay clean through the winter. Christmas everybody. Uh, temperature wise out here in the coops it's not too bad. It's definitely warmer than what it has been. Still below freezing. We're in the teens somewhere. Uh, no frozen water. Uh, the buffs actually had a little bit but it's nothing compared to what it has been. Um, all the chickens look good. Um, nothing too much to report. Holidays is just kind of quick get in, get out, make sure everything's taken care of and then spend the rest of the day with family and friends. For the bees, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this uh, bottom piece out a little further. Uh, so slowly get them used to uh, what it's been. Tomorrow I'll completely take that off and probably get the entrance set up back to how it was. Uh, wind chills aren't as crazy anymore, it's just cold. And the bees have seen this temperature before, or really close to it, and they've been fine. So I don't wanna snug them up too tight for too long. The bees can take the cold, it's uh once you get the wind and everything in there and then the moisture that moisture will kill so um definitely want to open things back up as soon as possible without shocking the bees that way they are set and able to make it through winter howdy y'all today is december 26th we're currently sitting about 23 degrees Tomorrow's gonna be 31 for a high, so we keep warming up. So for today, I'm gonna go ahead and completely take this bottom shelf out. Bees don't need it. I'm gonna have to put you guys down, but I'm also gonna take that off. No frozen water today. Since there's snow on the ground, it's always kind of nice to see what walks around your chicken coop. Got uh, some rabbit prints, got a lot of own tracks out here there's a uh, there's a lot of cats around here that looks like a cat um, there's nothing really around the buffs it looks like mostly just me walking around there's some bird prints it's like another cat nothing crazy let's go check uh, the Americana's coop. I didn't see anything, but I didn't walk all the way around it. Looks like uh, just rabbit tracks. Those look a little bigger and a little different shaped. Something running. But it's not stalking my coop took off in the woods that way and around the Americana's coop is fine so I am not worried about them. Got a little bit of sun yesterday but not much. I haven't had this fence on. Always good to clear these off just in case we do get some sun. I'm not gonna bother turning it on today though. Today is December 27th. Uh, chickens are enjoying their last tomato that my mom was getting rid of. Uh, nothing too interesting. We're not quite above freezing yet. We're getting close. Gonna change out the water, get them some more food, and then these guys are done. You know, it's crazy to think that this is the last video I'll be uploading for 2022. I was a New Year's resolution of mine to uh, document my farm's progress upload a video every Saturday in 2022 and stuck pretty close to it. Um, there were some Saturdays where I fell asleep while I was uploading so it 
came on on a Sunday. There were sometimes uh, just internet connection wasn't good, so they got uploaded a few hours late. But overall, well, that just ripped. It's a bad tarp. But uh, overall, stuck to the Saturdays really well as far as uploading on YouTube. Uh, the whole reason I kind of wanted to document my farm journey was one, I was just starting out, at least on my own farm. So 10 years from now, it'd be kind of fun to look at where I started and uh, everything that I was doing and kind of look back on things, what I liked, what I didn't like, things of that nature. Uh, I also wanted to do it because a lot of family and friends and just people I met seem genuinely interested in my job because uh, I've been farming for a while now. People are always interested in milking cows and messing with pigs and chickens and turkeys and everything. And I'd have a lot of people that just wanted to spend the day with me on the farm or volunteer for a season or a summer. So I feel like this is kind of a way to show some people a little bit of what I do. Um, it's also nice because I have some family and friends, door's a little frozen, that uh, aren't in state or maybe you're just too old and can't get out on the farm. So they can kind of just get a glimpse of what I do through YouTube. So, uh, it's crazy to think, I think I'm up to 358 subscribers, which blows my mind. I would not have thought I would hit that number. Wasn't really aiming for any sort of number, it just, uh, like I said, it was family, friends, and anyone interested. Um, it's also crazy to think that I had a video hit 24,000 views, which is pretty cool. I never expected that. That was uh, on actually when I was building this coop for the Americanas. People seem genuinely interested in that, which is neat. Never thought I'd have 24,000 views. Um, I will be doing a lot more chicken coop building next year, so stay tuned for that. Um, I think the whole YouTube thing's been uh, pretty good. I know family and friends really seem to enjoy it. Kind of met some people through YouTube that also um, seemed to enjoy it. Some people commenting on the videos that appreciate what I'm doing. So. I'm going to go ahead and continue with uh, uploading videos because it's kind of fun. Um, not making the videos is fun every week. There's some weeks where, you know, it'd be nice to take it easy or do something else besides work on a video. But for the most part, it hasn't been too bad. I've been doing uh, all the videos on my phone actually now. When I first started out, I was doing them on my computer and my phone, and uh, it was a little crazy doing them both ways, and then there was one week that my computer just decided to not want to run the program I was using, so then I had to switch over to my phone completely. And honestly, I prefer just using my phone because it makes making the videos a lot faster, so I do enjoy that process more now versus trying to do between two different programs so anyways i will continue uh, uploading videos to youtube all next year uh for every saturday i'll probably just keep it up until I just don't go anymore but uh got a lot of plans for next year that are going to be fun got a lot accomplished this year uh, buying the land was probably the biggest thing i did this year which is super exciting so i'm looking forward to getting some more work done on that my next big project that i'm working on is building a barn so i have uh, gotten some quotes back from some builders and probably work on that a little more this week trying to get something in writing solidified seeing timelines so uh, that's the next project i'm working on it's behind the scenes it's trying to get that going for the time being uh it's just keeping on with the chickens and the bees so let's go check on the buffs i think frizzle has a little bit of a cold 
little sneezy. Poor girl. Um, as far as the cold, it looks like Doodles did get some frostbite. Uh, chickens with the larger waddles or combs um, tend to get um, frostbite a little easier. All the hens are fine. He just kind of got a little... Leia went broody on me, so she's been hanging out in the nesting boxes for a long while. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys all situated, though. So since Frizzle's a little stopped up, I'm going to go ahead and spike their water with some of this stuff here. Just molasses and some other extra nutritional things in there. Just going to do one dropper full. Tomorrow we're getting above freezing, so that'll be fantastic. Hopefully the snow will melt a little bit. It'll be muddy, but the chickens just really don't like walking in snow too much. So tomorrow, hopefully they'll be able to get out of this coop because they've been cooped up for a while. Um, that should definitely help frizz out too. It gets a little dusty in here. You can see kind of just strings of dust hanging around. That's probably the worst one. So it's mostly doodles and rusty over here. He usually hangs out on the perch all the time because him and Doodles are always bickering back and forth and chasing each other and kicking up a lot of dust. So this coop does get dustier, um, which in this case isn't going to help frizz out too much because she's already kind of stopped up sounding. She almost sounds like a cat meowing. Um, so hopefully um, with some probiotics, some of that uh, supplement and then getting outside uh, from here on out, it'll help her out a little bit. So. Today is December 28th, it is 45 degrees, the sun is shining, and the chickens have been cooped up for almost a week now, so it'll be nice for them to get out. Uh, the snow's definitely melting, there's a little bit of grass, so that's pretty cool. They can uh, maybe get a little something, but just good for them to get out, see where Frizz is. That's Frizz right there, um, right here. I don't hear. Looks like she's breathing normal. She could have just had some dust kind of kicked up and gotten her lungs. Um, let's check all the other chickens. They definitely don't need this heat light, so I'm going to turn that off. Got nice little crop eggs in there. One over here. Cool. So, all's good in here. All right, chickens. Guys, behave yourselves. Come on out. These guys have a little bit more snow over here just because that coop blocks a lot of the sun. But hopefully they'll still get out and enjoy themselves a little bit. Let's see what the bees are up to. Got some movement. That's always good to see. Definitely looks like a lot of dead bees just kind of clogging up the entrance though. So might go ahead and clean that out again today. I do want to take this foam board off too. I don't need it. So there's another pile of dead wet bees that I cleaned out. There's probably still a little bit more in there. There's a few bees moving around. It's actually going to be warm enough uh, this following week. Actually tomorrow, I think we hit the 50s. So I'll crack it open and see what their food stores are looking like as well as their population. get a little crazy there's one chicken out here got the fence popped up in the back let's see if she's smart enough to uh kind of oh, no, no, just grab you <sighs> okay well one's in and another one hopped out I'm gonna close this up again she knocked this wood over and then go mess with the other chicken There you go. Okay, I'm gonna pop this back down. I'm just so glad that Frizz is doing better. 
not breathing weird or anything. Just acting like a normal chicken. Well, that's a cute little crow there, Rusty. It's because Doodles isn't out here. Howdy y'all, today is December 30th. Looks like my bees are alive and well. Uh, actually just started raining a little bit. It's 55, it's been raining off and on all day. Uh, I should get a little break in rain here in just a little bit. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the top cover just to take a look and see what um, their candy board looks like and then just pop it back on. That's about all I'm gonna do there. I did take all the insulation off. They don't need it, so. I'm just happy to see them looking good. The chickens have been busy. There are a ton of eggs in here today. Four over there and then uh, another girl's ready to lay some. And then a whole wad over here. So that's pretty cool. This is the one box that doesn't have the little mat underneath it. So it's kind of gross. I'm gonna clean it out and put the black mat in there. The rain stopped for the time being, so I'm gonna go ahead and don my bee suit, which I haven't had on in a really long time. Um, I'm just putting it on mostly for the veil. Once I uh, crack the top of that open, all it takes is one angry bee to sting me in the face and I would not be very happy. Uh, the bees are all nice and warm in there um, and it's a decent day outside. They're all flying around, uh, enjoying themselves, taking cleansing flights as they're called go out do their business and get a little fresh air so definitely active and i don't want to get stung in the face all right let's check them out real quick i'm interested to see uh if they've touched it or not so i'm just gonna crack it open real quick and put it back down they're definitely eating it uh let me show you guys Honestly, I'm quite shocked the bees have eaten that much. Uh, I didn't think they would go through everything, but it looks like they're going to. It's only uh, end of December, about to be January. So we've got another two solid months of cold weather. I'm curious to know if they've actually eaten through that entire honey super. I find that hard to believe, uh, but I don't know. So on another warmer, non-rainy day, I might go ahead and pull the feeder off and just kind of glance between uh, the honey super um, frames, see if I can see anything, uh, whether they've eaten it or not, because um, I just can't believe they've eaten that much. I think I put uh, 16 pounds of sugar in that and they're definitely doing a number on it. So I'm glad that they're using it and it's working. I do remember seeing some that kind of fell through. Maybe that's because they were eating it so quick though. I don't know. But either way, they still have food. They're looking good. I'm happy. Well, y'all, this is the last video I'm going to upload in 2022. It's been a fun year, good year, a lot of good things happening. I'm really looking forward to next year. Also a lot of fun things that are going to be going on. I will continue to document my farm journey all through next year. So I hope you guys stay tuned and I'll see you next week.